You're smart. You know how to listen to suggestion and then make your own decisions, right? We're just two Aussie brothers talking shit about cryptocurrency, so uh, do yourself a favor. Research the topics before doing anything financially. Now for that banging intro music. Welcome to WTF is Crypto Space. I'm Brett. And I'm Chad. This podcast is all about the crypto space. It is the shout out time. Yeah. Chad. Yes. Let's go around the globe. All right. I am around the globe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to take you to a place around the globe. What's the place we're going to, Brett? So I'm just going to imagine it in my mind. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to actually we're going to the UK this time. <clears throat> okay, excellent. I can I can I can kind of see that. I've been to German Germany. Nottingham. Nottingham. That's where. Never mind. Uh, uh, Robin Hood's from. <laughs> um, I'm sure, is that is Rottingham? From Nottingham. There? I think it was Nottingham. Rottingham. That's a different. That was the uh, Mel Brooks oh, show. Oh, sorry, Rottingham. that was the Mel Brooks version. Gotcha. Of course. Um, all right. So what's today? the show about Thank you guys today, so much. Jen? Uh, today's shows. The topics are. This is uh, now the first one's going to be a bit heavy. Um, it's the party's over for Australia's five point six trillion dollar housing frenzy, and the second one is pop culture references to Bitcoin. Oh, I like the second one. That sounds cool. Me too. That's a little bit lighter. So <laughs> let's go. Can I just do a quick background on Australia? Yeah, yeah, sure. Hit us up. Okay, Australia is a sand island, um, and it was made, um, depending on who you talk to, between 6,000 and 44,000 years ago. Um, it was, it was <laughs> it's a small range, by, Chad of era. Small range uh, of many, many thousands of years. Um, and it is uh, a little um, sand island. It's the biggest sand island in the world, um, and we have a bunch of houses. Apparently, those houses were worth something at one point, but now they're going backwards. Brett, over to you. The longest bull run. Here we go. So... The longest bull run in history, not just in Australia's history, but in the world history for property, 55 years, chat. Now, if I do the math, that uh, was 55 years, years ago that started. That's cool. <laughs> That's a little bit older than you. I my calculator. <laughs> 55 is 1962. Yes. The and look, but Chad, prediction. this is the thing. You know, they call Australia the lucky country, right? Um, th- many countries call themselves lucky. Um, we in Australia call ourselves the lucky country. Absolutely. Any ideas why? Because there's only 27 million of us and there's a lot of space. There's about a couple of Ks per person if you really want to stretch so it So, we've out. got a property market which has been booming, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, on top of that, you've also got other smaller bubbles. You had the commodity boom. You yes. had a resource boom. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now we had the coal boom. Yeah. Now see, all of these things have been tying in over the last few years. Now Brisbane is really getting hit hard, especially with regards to um, uh, property in in apartments, smaller dwellings, um, huge. But then the the thing is that we now have more loans outstanding in Australia wow. per capita. Than every single current, uh, every single country in the world, except for Switzerland. Yeah, because Switzerland has only eight million people. Uh, no, yeah, that's right. Um, which makes sense. Uh, but it doesn't make sense just because. Well, first off, being a, a home owner myself, um, and for anybody out there who owns a home, we're in a club. It's called the homeowners club, and um, that just means we have a lot of debt. Um, and some good, some debts are good, some ba- debts are bad. I live in my debt, so it's pretty good. <laughs> I like that. I live in my debt. That's good, Chad. <laughs> so <laughs> it's all around me. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but we, my wife, my wife being a very, 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 very intelligent woman decided that, you know what we should do? Let's start small with a small loan and let's just get a house that we can afford from week to week, do you know and what, then be able to go on holidays. You know we just word, went to Japan, yeah? Well, do you know what the Latin word for mortgage is, Chad? Uh, death. Death. Contract. Yes. Very good, Chad. Absolutely. Uh, my <laughs> The guy we got the loans off <laughs> was very quick to point that out. Um, it's an engagement until death. 
that that's true. Uh, but also that what that particular language was language was created when um, the expectancy of life was twenty seven. So um, true. So that means you'd spend your entire life paying back that loan. That's absolutely true. And you know what? Some people do. And and some people like what we're looking at right now, which is the housing market shrinking or going down, people are going to be losing some cash. Now, this is hard because this is the thing. We have we talk about the crypto space, Chad. That's what our podcast is all about, the crypto space. So let's tie it absolutely. back in for people. Why the hell would we care about this stuff? Well, um... Uh, Let's look at the percentages. Um, currently, uh, we've just seen a massive peak in Bitcoin. Um, I believe from what um, people have been telling me is about 50 to 50-something percent, it has increased. Um, well, it soared 16% is, over the weekend, Chad. Yeah, 16%. It burst so, through the 8,000, up the 9,000, and it's heading well, actually. Let's just bring up coinmarketcap.com. Whilst you're doing that, I'm just going to do quick um, uh, month-to-month basis. That was about two weeks, right? Let's say uh, let's say a month. That's that's 16% over a month. The, um, it is exactly... Oh, it's $9,964.50 se- US USD time of this recording. Which is ridiculous. Which is ridiculous. USD, so- hang on, but hang on. Australia, Chad, for those playing at home, 13,091.74 exactly. on... So it's almost cracked the $14,000 No, no, just cracked the thirteen. Just cracked the thirteen. Just... The, oh, sorry. Sorry, I, I, I listened to words. Um, <laughs> you. So that means that 16%, it's gone up 16%. Now, if I can do my maths for here, just a little bit, just indulge me, over a month, let's say it is over the month. It was only over the last week, maybe two weeks. 16% it's gone up. So if I look at, say, Sydney, um, it's gone up 16.5% higher than um, the Sydney, uh, the current Sydney rate of housing um, increase. Now, uh, it's 16.5%. It's only gone up 16%. That's Bitcoin's because gone Sydney up just went down. 2.91% in seven days, Jen. That's true. And that is because, but over the month, it's gone 16. Point Five, but over the year, it's than gone the, up ten times. Sixteen, yes, that's true. But what I'm trying to say is, basically, Sydney went backwards. So it's sixteen percent. It went up, and it's actually has it's ahead of the other one by about 05 percent because it the Sydney marking market went down by negative zero point five percent. And, and, so our, and in case our awesome listeners forgot, which I'm sure they didn't, but it's worth saying is that crypto is an asset. It is a mm-hmm. it is an asset backed currency. Yeah. Absolutely. Whereas you take something like the fiat currency. Money. Yeah. Fiat currency. Now, back in the day, if we would just do a quick history lesson in two sentences. Brett, can I? Oh, please. Go for it, Chad. There was a dude. He had all the money. He was like, you know what? I'll keep all the money, but I'll give you something so you can trade between each other. That was worth something. Now. Was that... Hang on. I know what this is. Is mm-hmm. that comic books? No. No. Okay. That's not fiction. That happened. Oh. There was a guy who took all the money and was like, you know what? Well, it wasn't one guy. Let's say it was a dude. It's much easier to think of people. He was like, I'll have the money and I'll give you these paper dolphins. thingies just to say was you can dolphins? come at any time. You can come. Yeah, I don't know. Anytime you can come back to me and just get, get the money that this is worth back. And then they started printing more of those things and they became less and less. And then they decided, you know what? Let's put it in Fort Knox over there. And, um, uh, and uh, a couple of... Decades later, and um, a bit of um, lost co- uh, gold. Um, we're currently in the fiat situation where money's worth nothing, and the gold is currently stocked somewhere, and they're missing a bunch of it. Um, whereas in the uh, currency of that of was one crypto, wild weekend, Chad. It was one wild weekend that happened in there late, some century. Um, and so, basically, what we're saying is. Cryptocurrency is going forward. It's an asset. It's backed by things that actually exist, that actually exist, even though it seems like it's online. They actually exist. There's only 21 million Bitcoin. The reason why it's going up because it's scarcity. Scarcity is a thingy. Blah, 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 blah. And that's why we're going up the rising price. Now, what, are we, what can we glean from the housing market? What can we glean from the crypto market this week, Brett? Hoddle. Yep. Hold that money. So, now, look. Let's shift on and shift it up a gear. Now, there's a new trailer coming out. We're not endorsing this trailer. We're just suggesting that We're not getting paid by it, he's saying. No. We're not getting paid. But if they want to, flick us some BTC. I'm I'm in. However, it's called Future Man. It's a a trailer that's a time travel sci-fi action trailer. Go and have a look at it. Um, Now, the thing about this is about 45 (sighs) seconds in. Nope, it's a minute. It's a a minute. So what does he say, Jen? 
He says, as someone breaks an artifact, and he goes, I, I spent my only Bitcoin on that. Right. So he's spent mm. his only Bitcoin. Now, that's just come out. Now, on November 7th, 2017, there's a Dilbert cartoon with yes. the mention of blockchain where he yes. talks through the cartoon. What's we'll it? put the links below. Uh, we've never done this note, but we've never done this live before. Brett, I'll be the question asker. You be the other guy. All right. So, um, quickly, uh... I see you're off the phone. Can I pop in and ask a quick question? Yeah, but if it's quick. I, oh, it will be. Okay, make it quick. All right. Uh, what is blockchain and how will it influence our strategy across the product lines? Bada boom ching. Bada boom ching. It's, uh, so basically what we're saying is that um, Bitcoin and the idea of cryptocurrencies and the crypto space are coming into the common vernacular which means Ooh. exciting times it is and you are going to see more of an uptick in that so you make sure that everybody is hodling from here out Absolutely. please Absolutely. please try and find those positions that you're looking for um have a think about looking into things like very populous yes, yes. Um, but, but you've got i'm um, just and another thing you've got another article you put up here was techcrunch.com Ooh, and yes. it was um 100 cryptocurrencies described in four words or less do you want to just t- pull out some good ones let's let's do a scenario would you do a scenario yes. with me all right Absolutely. so what we're going to do is imagine you're in a doctor's office right okay all right so i'm going to hit you up and i'm going to shoot out a word yep and, absolutely and then you're going to hit me up and you're going to tell me what you think. Okay, here we go. Totally improvised. Here we go, guys. Absolutely. All right. Bitcoin. Digital gold. Ethereum. Programmable contracts and money. Bitcoin cash. Bitcoin clone. Ripple. Uh, enterprise payment settling network. And Litecoin. Faster Bitcoin. Ooh, I like it. LTC all the way to the bank. All right. Absolutely. And so, look. Then, as you can see, guys, look, you can see more and more that we're getting into the next phase of the early adopters. Now, shout out over Christmas. Remember, guys, look after those people who are in your family who have Absolutely. no idea about crypto. Be nice. Tell them yeah, share tell this. them about your awesome gains, but feel free. Yes, Chad, what were we going to say? Share. Mate, uh, if you, if you want to do something a favor, we do have um, a podcast that we did earlier um, this year which it was just like a, a best of kind of thing because um, one of us were away. It was a best of thing that was basically explaining uh, the basics of what the hell we're talking about right now. Um, so if you want to go back to that, we'll put that also in the links. Well, Brett, all right, before we end the show, we have one more little announcement to make. Ooh, we have a gentleman. I like this. We have a gentleman coming onto the show. We're going to have our first ever interview. Are you excited? I am excited. Big Kevin. I, I am excited. also excited. Big Kev, if he was still here with us, God bless his soul. Um, Amen. That's an strange, <laughs> that's an strange joke for anybody who doesn't know what that is. Um, he's, he's a gentleman from Game Credits. We covered him. We covered his uh, coin, his currency uh, last week or the week before, I believe. Uh, his name is Jack Kervik or Kervy. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. I don't know. Well, before we have the interview next week, we will find out what your actual last name is because it's got a lot of E's in it, and I'm bad with E's. Um, but he's he's going to come in and talk to us about um, game credits plus a whole bunch of other things. We're gonna we're gonna pick his brain. It might be a series. We might make an entire new podcast out of it. I doubt it, mate. We're not, no pressure. But um, <laughs> we will we will have, be talking to him next week. And Brett, I believe you have someone else you want to talk to before Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to be speaking with Greg from Brisbane, talking about very, which is going to be huge into twenty eighteen. Yeah, very important conversation. Absolutely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening. Hey, Brett, yes. we have a Facebook. Oh, we do. What's the Facebook called? Crypto Space. All right. If you guys want to join that, we we have a conversation over there. Just say hello. Uh, come over there and, and keep with the conversation. We've had a bunch of people add this week, which has been awesome. We also, if you're on YouTube, um, smack that like button. Also, what? subscribe and press the little bell icon so you know when these are coming out. You know to listen to our... Australian accents, if you're into that kind of thing. And um, Twitter, Chad. We're on Twitter. WTF Crypto Twitter? Space. Hit us up. Yeah, That's I'm, I'm Chad Shuttle Muso. Yes. 
Uh, also, if you are in iTunes, please write a written review and give us five stars or four stars. Just If you just give us a review, that'd be awesome because it helps other people find us because we don't advertise. We don't pay for anybody else to listen to this. This is all about growing a community together with you guys. Um, so, subscribe in your podcast feed and you will get updates from us, Knuckleheads, every Wednesday, 9 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. But until next time... I'm Chad. And I'm Brett. Let's get excited about the crypto space. The transition has begun. Never gonna give you up. Never Never gonna gonna let let you you down. down. I'm gonna go around and give you crypto.